This is the Committee on Finance, Thursday, March 9th, 2023. Before we begin the public hearing, I would make, like to make the following announcements. Due to the continuing threat of public health from COVID-19, City Council committees are currently meeting remotely. We are using Microsoft Teams to make these remote hearings possible. Instructions for how the public may view and offer public testimony at public hearings at Council committees are included in the public hearing notices that are published in the Daily News, Inquirer, and Legal Intelligencer prior to the hearing and can also be found on phlcouncil.com. I note now that the hour has come. Mr. McGonigal, will you please read the call the roll and uh, members uh, say your name and say if you're present. Thank you. Councilwoman Bass. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. I'm present, Mr. Chairman. Councilman Squilla. I'm present. Councilman Thomas. I'm present. You have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Now a quorum of the committee is present and the hearing is now called to order. This is a public hearing on the Committee on Finance regarding bills number 230079, 230104, and 230105. Mr. Model, will please read the title of the bills. Bill number 230079, constituting the 27th Supplemental Ordinance to the Restated General Water and Wastewater Revenue Bond Ordinance of 1989, as supplemented. Authorizing the bond committee to issue and sell one or more series of subseries of tax exempt or taxable water and wastewater revenue bonds and revenue refunding bonds. Authorizing agreements to provide credit as enhancement or payment or of liquidity liquidity sources for any combination of the foregoing for such bonds. Providing that such bonds shall bear interest at fixed or variable rates, determining the sufficiency of pledged project revenues authorizing the director of finance to take certain actions with regard to the sale of such bonds the investments of proceeds thereof and the city's continuing disclosure obligations with respect to such bonds setting forth the use of proceeds of such bonds covenating the payment of interest and principal supplementing the restated general water and wastewater revenue bond ordinance of 1989 and specifying applicability of sections of the first class city revenue bond act and the restated general water and wastewater revenue bond ordinance of 1989. And also bill number 230104 appro approving the amendment of the fiscal year 2023 capital budget providing for expenditures for the capital purposes of the Philadelphia Gas Works, including the supplying of funds in connection therewith and acknowledging the receipt of the revised forecast of capital budgets for fiscal years 2024 through 2028 as amended, all under certain terms and conditions. And bill number 230105, authorizing the extension of the program authorized by bill number 181043, under which advance approval is given to the Philadelphia Facilities Management Corporation to enter into certain contracts and transactions arising there under for the purchase, storage, distribution, transportation, and or transmission of natural and other gas supply on behalf of the Philadelphia Gas Works, subject to certain terms and conditions. Thank you. Before we begin the hearing testimony uh, from the witnesses we have for today, everyone who is uh, invited to the meeting to testify should be aware that this public hearing is being recorded. Because the hearing is public, participants and viewers have no reasonable expectations of privacy. By continuing to be in the meeting, you are consenting to being recorded. Additionally, prior to recognizing members for the questions or comments they have for witnesses, I will note for the record at this time that we will use the chat feature available on Microsoft Teams to allow members to signify 
that they wish to be recognized. In order to comply with the Sunshine Act, the chat feature must only be used for this purpose. Mr. McGowan, will you please call the panel? We have to testify this afternoon on the first bill. Is he on mute, Sister Chairman? Could we please have Jacqueline Dunn? Thank you, Jackie. Present. If you want to just state your name for the record and then you can proceed with your testimony. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon, Chair Scuola and members of the Finance Committee. My name is Jackie Dunn, City Treasurer. With me are Natalia Dominguez Buckley, First Deputy City Treasurer, Matthew Bowman, Deputy for Debt Management, and colleagues from the Philadelphia Water Department. I'm here to testify today on behalf of Bill 230079. Bill 230079 would provide authorization to issue water and wastewater revenue bonds in an aggregate amount up to $945 million, exclusive of original issue discount, if any. This ordinance authorizes the issuance of water and wastewater revenue bonds to pay for projects, which consist of such capital improvements to the water system that are authorized and included in the capital budget of the city including constructing, acquiring, reconstructing, and renovating wastewater treatment plants and related facilities and equipment for the sewer system, constructing, acquiring, reconstructing, renovating water treatment plants, constructing, acquiring, reconstructing, and replacing water, wastewater, and stormwater pipes, pumping stations, and related facilities, purchasing equipment and apparatus of a capital nature for water and wastewater systems, constructing, acquiring, reconstructing, and renovating stormwater management and mitigation improvements, facilities and other improvements, and facilities in furtherance with the city's combined sewer outflow long-term control plan update, purchasing vehicles that serve the water and wastewater system, paying the issuance cost of the bonds and for other transaction-related costs, as well as the defeasance of any obligations issued through the, the uh, city's commercial paper program. This authorization can also support the Water Department's utilization of low-cost state and federal loan programs. In short, this ordinance provides the Water Department the ability to invest in its capital infrastructure over several fiscal years. The administration recommends the adoption of this bill and respectfully requests that the committee give this bill its favorable recommendation. We also request that the rules be suspended so as to permit first reading at the next session of Council. Thank you for your consideration, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you, Jackie, for your testimony. Do you know who gets to uh, select how much is being um, put in for the bond and then what those projects are? Sure, thank you for the question, Chair. Um, we uh, work with the Water Department to evaluate their capital needs in accordance with the capital plan um, that is approved by City Council. And in terms of the sizing of the bond, we look at what the capital needs are and the relationship to what revenues we receive through rates. And so the water department can only borrow up to what we have um, the ability to pay for in rates. And so that includes not only the city's borrowings, but also the utilization of those federal and state low cost loan programs that I mentioned in my testimony. Um, so that you work directly with the water department on then. Do you know, do you get to recommend uh, projects to get done, uh, concerns like we have? And we had a hearing recently with um, dry weather overflow in the combined sewers. Is that like, how do we know if, if those things are also being considered when um, these projects are being done? Sure. So our office is, is not part of the selection process on specific projects that are funded by bond proceeds or by um, these other uh, federal or state loan programs, but through the budget process that then comes before city council, um, uh, those projects are approved in the capital plan process. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Are, are there any uh, questions, uh, council member Jones? Yes, my, um, you, you kind of answered it, but I want it on the record. So you do not have anything to do with the speed by which capital programs are implemented in prior budgets. We were concerned that we are borrowing money for projects that take extreme amounts of time. And because of that borrowing, we're assuming 
the uh, debt obligation to it. Hey, is there is there any way that you can, uh, as a part of a testimony, kind of tell us how we're doing with capital projects? Uh, we had a 10 year backlog at one point. So sure. I don't know if that's all water department projects, but it, it would be helpful if you could provide that to the chair. Sure, thank you, Councilmember Jones. We're happy to um, provide more information after this hearing. Um, the one intersection that our office has with your question is that uh, in order for the water department to bid out projects, capital projects, get vendors on board and you know start that process, uh, they need to have authorization to do so. And so by having the authorization, they can at least on the front end, um, you know, help facilitate that um, that full process uh, coming to speed quicker than if we're having to wait for authorization. So that's why we come before city council to ask for uh, multiple years of authorization to try and do what we can on that end um, to allow them to get money on the street and into our infrastructure as quickly as possible. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank you, council member. Are there any other questions for this panel? Is there any other testimony to be shared for this bill? Seeing none, thank you. Mr. McMonagle, can you please call the next panel for the following bill? 230104. Can we please have John Zuck? Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, can uh, council member. Can I be reported as being present? Yes, before we start, uh, for the record, council member Johnson is present for the hearing. Um, John, if you just want to state your name for the record and then proceed with your testimony. Sure. Well, thank you, Councilman. Uh, good day. My name is John Zuck, uh, Philadelphia Works, uh, Senior Vice President of Gas Management. I'm here appearing today on behalf of PGW in support of Bill 230104, which would approve an amendment to the fiscal year 2023 capital budget PGW. In moderating the impl implementation of PGW's FY 2021 capital program, compliance issues were identified that need addressed. There are four projects approved. For the FY 2021 capital budgets, where the project's completion timeline would exceed the approved life ban. To remedy this issue, PGW requests that the FY23 capital budget be amended to reflect reauthorization for these previously approved projects in the FY 2021 capital budget. Total combined actual spending for the original authorization and reauthorization will not be greater than the original authorization for these projects. Therefore, there is no need to request additional budget spending authorization from the original amount authorized. City Council pool is required since neither PGW nor the Gas Commission have authority to extend project lifespans. Specific line items were budgeted reauthorization is requested with the budget category and the amount of the budget authorization. PGW proposed amendment to the FY 2023 capital budget provides the resources to manage and operate the Philadelphia Gas Works and maintain its facilities in good order and condition consistent with the best and most economical processes that are usual, usual and customary for gas utilities. Therefore, PGW respectfully asked the Committee on Finance for a favorable report on the 230104 and that the City Council approve and authorize and amend fiscal year 2023 budget capital budget of 191,570,000. PGW also respectfully requests a suspension of rules for, for initially reading of this bill. I'd like to extend our appreciation to both the gas commission and the staff for a budget review that was both efficient and comprehensive. Also, on the behalf of PGW, I would like to thank City Council for its past support of our efforts to serve the citizens of Philadelphia and look forward to any questions concerning this matter. Thank you for your time and consideration in this matter. Thank you, John, for your testimony. Are there any questions uh, from anyone on the committee? Hearing none, is there anyone else to testify on bill number 230104? John, thank you for your testimony. Mr. McMonagle, can you please read, uh, request the panel for bill number 230105. Mr. Zuck again. John, just state your name again for the record and proceed. Okay. Hello, my name is John Zuck, uh, Senior President, PGW. 
Uh, briefly, Bill number 230105 would further extend the pre approval ordinance authorized period for an additional four years for the approval and recommendation of gas contracts that meet certain approval criteria. Developed in, in, in consultation with PGW, PGW Commission staff, and the City Solicitor's Office, Bill 230105 continues to reauthorize certain changes to the pre approval framework to enable PGW to enter into contracts that PGW was previously not able to enter to, resulting in reduced gas purchases costs to PGW and ultimately its rate payers. The pre-approval ordinance has provided PGW with workable guidelines for its gas procurement program in an efficient manner consistent with industry standards. At this time, PGW has been able to comply with the reporting and other requirements set forth in the pre-approval ordinance and so also meet the requirements that arise by virtue of the PGW status of municipal and utility. With the changes described above and previously, we'll continue to permit PGW to benefit from lower gas costs while continuing to comply with such requirements. Further extension has been favorable, recommended by PGW Gas Commission. Thank you, and I will happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you for your testimony. Uh, any questions from anyone on the committee? Hearing none, is there anyone else to testify on bill number? Two three zero one zero five. John, thank you for your testimony. Uh, hearing no no further questions from members, uh, and this is the last panel. Uh, there being no other panels to testify, we'll take a brief break to connect any members, if there are any members. Mr. McGonagall, are there any members for public session? We have nobody signed up to testify, sir. Okay. So thank you for that. So since there's no other questions from members, that will conclude our hearing. There being no further questions from members of the committee and no other witnesses to testify, I'll ask that anyone else present in this hearing whose name we have failed to call and that wishes to offer testimony on the bill be considered today. Hearing there are none, I want to I'm, thank- My apologies, um, oh. council member. Um, my name is Jamela McClendon and I'm the executive director of the Gas Commission. Okay. And All right, you want to testify on, on what bill? Um, 230105. All right, and I'm it's sorry. Really 230105. All right, thank you. Yeah, just state your name again for the record and you can proceed with your testimony. My name is Jamela McClendon and I am the executive director of the Philadelphia Gas Commission. Um, it's what I have to offer this afternoon is less of testimony and more just a matter of cleanup. Um, and it's possible that I missed it, but I just wanted to make note that we are respectively um, requesting the um, suspension of the rules and favorable recommendation of bill number 230105 so that it can have first reading at the next council session. Mr. Zook may have said that um, for 230105, but I possibly missed it and just wanted to make note of that. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for your testimony. Um, are there any other questions? And is there anyone else to testify? Hearing none, this is conclude our public hearing. The committee, we will now go into the public meeting uh, to consider the action to be taken the bills before this committee today. We are now in a public meeting. Ms. McGonagall, could please call the roll to take attendance and members that are in attendance. Please state your name for the record. Councilwoman Bass. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Mr. Chair, I'm present. Councilman Squilla. Present. Councilman Thomas. Present. Mark, did you call my name, Mark? Council member, yeah, Johnson, you're present. Okay, thank you. All right, Ken, Mr. McMonagle is going to share uh, the script with uh, Council member Jones. Um, he's going to email that over to you if. if um... Um, neither one of those have a amendment, sir. No amendments. 
If he could just text me the bill numbers, I can move them. Okay, I know it by come, heart now. Yes, All right. Sir. Coming over now. I'll do it. Sorry, Councilman, I sent it to Councilwoman Bass and just realized. That's quite all right. I have them, sir. There are three of them, right? Correct. Okay. All right, the chair recognizes Councilmember Jones for a motion on bill number 230079. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that bill number 230079 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further rule that the rules of council be suspended to allow first reading at our next session of council. Is there a second? Second. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Thank, thank you. The, the chair notes for the record. Councilmember Thomas seconds the motion. It has been moved and properly second that bill number 230079 be approved. All those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it and the motion carries. Bill number 230079. Be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the rules of council be suspended as to permit the first reading of this bill at the next session of council. The chair now recognizes Councilmember Jones for emotional bill number 230104. Thank you again, Mr. Chair. I move that bill number 230104 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation. Further move that the rules of council be suspended as to permit. First reading of this bill at our next session of council. Is there a second? Second. All right. Thank you. The chair notes for the record. Councilmember Thomas seconds the motion. It has been moved and properly seconded that the bill number 230104 be approved. All those in favor would signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it and the motion carries. Uh, bill number 230104 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the rules of council be suspended as to permit the first reading of this bill at the next session of council. Chair and recognizes council member Jones for a motion on bill number 230105. And I thank you again, Mr. Chairman. I move that bill number 230105 be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the rules of council be suspended to permit this bill to be read at our next session of council. Is there second. a second? Uh, thank you uh, for the record. Note uh, that council member Thomas seconds the motion and has been moved and properly second to bill number 230105. Be approved. All those in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it and the motion carries. Uh, bill number 230105 has been reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the rules of council be suspended as with the first reading of this bill at the next session of council. Thank you so much for your time today. That'll conclude our meeting uh, for the, and business for the committee on finance. Everybody who testified, we appreciate it. Have a great day and enjoy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs>